Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my car spit for my DC5 project car. Um, I built it a long time ago and I have never done a YouTube video on it. Um, I'm looking to do one now to in case because it doesn't make sense. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my car spit. I bought it six years ago. Um, it is quite a piece of engineering. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel again. This is my car spit. It is designed for a project car, um, a DC5, a Honda Integra Type R. I am going to start working on this car now, so I would like to take a video of the car spit before I start damaging it, uh, overspray etc. So I will do a few push up shots of the car spit itself and tell you how I made it. Okay, so the car spit has 8 casters, large casters at 200mm tall. Um, this is for transporting the car spit with a car on it over rough ground as you can see I work on these stones the arch stones and the car spit is also painted with um, a yellow enamel paint and it's covered in a grip black grip adhesive tape to protect the paint um, here we have a bushing but a bit of steel bar bored out to 25 mil um, this here is a bushing welded on to the 25mm shaft and the shaft is welded right through the boxer to here. Um, the car spit is made of a 50mm box right round. Um, these brackets here mount on to the car. They're made out of stainless steel. Um, this here is a locking, they tight, they got a brake locking mechanism. It would lock it up a wee bit if needed but it's mainly controlled by the other side so here we go uh, I see it's locked there now or not. so basically that side is just a bearing, bushing um, I can also pump grease into it there if, if needed this tape is just used to protect the paint here and there and everywhere and that there is just used to drip tapes used to gripping. I can also extend this car spit heightwise to keep the car shell from hitting this frame. This frame all comes apart um, with them bolts which are about 130 mil long. If this frame didn't have them two runner supports along here, um, the a bit sore in these brackets it can be uh, pushing it, um, these wheels can tend to, this whole unit tends to splan, so it's good having these supports. Um, there's also stainless steel brackets at this end uh, that go on to the front of the car. Again, this car is a DC5, so it's a, an Integra Type R. Okay, so this is the another the other end of it now, and as you can see here, there's also a bushing bearing type here, and you can also pump grease into it. Um, you can extend the height of this up by diff for different sizes of cars um, up the 500mm of this 25mm shaft but um, at the minute there's piezo clearance for any car that's sitting at roughly 120-30mm ok so I rolled this I rolled this um, pretty nice handle mechanism and this is all made of a stainless steel and below it, but it doesn't, doesn't need to be stainless steel. This is just bars welded in to make a nice rotating lever. Um, this is obviously a flywheel of a car. Um, it's a specific, this is a Honda flywheel of a prelude, I think. It's stud, um, four cylinder prelude. So here we have starter ring gear. Uh, there's two bearings uh, put on the a bushing. Uh, there's a bit of tubing between the shaft, and this is basically just turning the flywheel, and the flywheel is welded on to the, the shaft that's on this arm. So that's why you have the bushing on the other side. 
the bearing so the car rotates so basically when I turn this the car turns nice and gently this locking mechanism here is basically um, ring gear off a tra- uh, or not a tractor, there's a tractor going up the wood and I'm getting distracted okay this is ring gear off of another flywheel and basically I have um, took the radius out of it a wee bit or made the radius far bigger so it's, it's straighter looking and there's also another bushing idea made up here a bushing of a pin and this is welded here but obviously it, I have it nice to sand it down with paint it with enamel paint you don't, you don't see the welds um, basically if you want if you're locking it either direction there now look it's locked um, so that's locking of the cars weights hanging on anti-clockwise and if the car weights hanging on clockwise with my hands on this here um, it's locked this direction so we will show you more about it when we put the car on the spit. Um, people could say I went over the top as I do, but um, I don't think so. The car spits really good on rough ground, which it was designed for, because I wheel it from here, around a road, uh, on a wee lane, into the shade. So I like working out in the sunlight. Um, better lightness, light. Um, so that is it, up close detail, oh yeah and these, these here casters is all put on with plates properly, nice and everything's all, I've made it, all the bolts are stainless steel, and that's basically it, this is the back end of it, the flywheel, so again these teeth lock the flywheel in the car in position, whatever position you're working at. And that's it. Hi everyone, very one day today out here, but I'm going to show you a sample now of this car spit rotating the car. Asimo, stay back. Asimo, back. Stay back. Right. Here we go. So I'm turning this handle thing that I've made now. And this car has currently no quarter panels on no roof skin because I was painting. Asimo, go back. I was painting the interior. Uh, he tumbles that camera um, I was painting the, the adhere panel of the car before I put the quarter panels on. Um, so here's me rotating the handle. That looks very well. And I can lock it here. The camera's going down. Go back, guys. I can lock it there if need be. Um, I can lock it on a steeper. I can lock it with the purple dicker to the ground. As I'm going to go back. As on there. Or I can lock it up right upside down. Anywhere. I can lock it anywhere. Then mount the teeth on the uh, actual flywheel. There he is. And he's brushed. You can get in the way of the video. Hey, right, as we'll say goodbye. Say see you later. Say see you later. Bye bye. So this is why there's big casters on it.
guys. We'll say goodbye. Say see you later. Say see you later. See you next video. Yeah?